you are, Mr Rayner. The baddies won't get through that. I should hope not. This has come as a great shock to all of us. I mean, look what it's done to your poor mother. Yeah, well, I do know a few people in the building trade, so I'll manage to get the lock nice and cheap. Just give me three pounds, including labour. Hmm. Your mother can get the money out of petty cash. Right, off you go, young man. I'll see you later, Mum. Bye, darling. Mrs Trotter! Well, this is a rum do, isn't it? How did they know the money was there? I can't imagine. The police said they might have just been opportunists. Yes, maybe. But it means that you must be better prepared. We live in dangerous times, Mrs Trotter. Or may I call you Joan Mavis? I prefer Mrs Trotter. Yes, of course. Well, I've spoken to Raymond, and now I'm speaking to you. All staff must learn self-defence. What, go to evening school? Not necessary. I trained in self-defence in the army. There, you see, there, you see, there, see, see, see. The power of surprise. You didn't expect that, did you? Well, actually... This is called the Burmese death hold. There is no escape. Once you have a person in this position, they are powerless. You can do whatever you want to them. You could. Oh! Off you go, then. Things to be done. Quickly, quickly! Thank you all! 